Hello and welcome to IELTS Speaking, your all-time IELTS Speaking partner. And today uh, we are back with a very, very important video regarding Australia versus Canada, which is best for international students. Because nowadays this is the question of every candidate uh, before doing IELTS, after doing IELTS, whenever they want to apply. There is a question which came in their mind that which is best for them, either Australia or Canada. There are some other countries as well, but in Australia and Canada, I can say that is a tough competition, I can say. Uh, it's like that everybody is just in confusion that should I go for Canada, should I go for Australia because everything has positivities as well as and negativities as well as. So we will discuss everything, the basic factors and the basic point which is I can which which matter for every international student. The main thing, the PR and uh, the work experience, the education, their salary, their expenses and their weathers and other conditions. So let's get into it. Before that, hit the subscribe button now and enjoy the complete IELTS course and the latest updates regarding IELTS visa immigration it's completely free and also press the bell icon to enjoy uh, to get the latest updates for our videos and enjoy your complete als courses so let's get started well guys firstly we will talk about the education system in australia and canada i can say there is no any difference in education system in australia and canada the, uh, the education system in both countries is best and the best and there are similar i can say this story is similar there is no any kind of difference uh, this is not like that uh, in canada there is different kind of university with and they are teaching in different method and in australia they are teaching in different method it is not this is totally similar and this also not there that uh, suppose you want to take an course uh, that is um early childhood education so it is not there that uh, this course is only available in canada or uh, this is not available in australia or this is only available in australia not in canada so all the courses are available in both the countries it as a kuch nahi hai ki ye wala course australia mein hai canada mein nahi hai fir canada mein mil raha hai australia mein nahi hai so is education system ko leke koi bhi problem nahi hai there is no any problem regarding education system that is best and the best in both the countries so next is about the fee the uh, difference here is in fee uh, well the thing is in australian universities or colleges the fee is a bit more as compared to this i can say canadian universities or educational institutes uh, because the australia ki colleges and university uh, universities ki fees hai wo canada se thode jyada hai canada mein fees kam hai unki chahe canada ki university ho ya fir college ho so that is uh, um, as a koi i can say, don't give you any can i guess but it is around in canada that is around uh, 15000 to 20000 Canadian and Australian is around I think 25,000 Australian something like that I'm not sure but the thing is there is different in Australia the fees is a bit more not a lot more the fees is a bit more because the dollar price is also less for Australia I can say so the same thing is but in Canada the fee is a bit less than Australia in education to talk about the next point that is about salary and expenses the main thing um, well you know guys uh, stu uh, the, on the part-time wages which students get so that per hour wage in Australia is approximately twenty third uh, sorry only twenty dollar per hour, but in Canada uh, that is around fifteen dollar per hour, and that all is that vary between I can say states uh, in, as in Toronto I can say according to me according to the sources it is maximum in Toronto around fourteen to fifteen, uh, in British Columbia it is around thirteen something thirteen to fourteen, and it depends actually. But the minimum wage is around fifteen dollar per hour in Canada, and in Australia that is around twenty dollar per hour. So now you can you see that uh, the, in the per hour wage is more in Australia as compared to Canada but to talk about the thing is uh, the expense is more in Australia regarding uh, in, in the form of I can say Canada because as Ca Australia is paying the more uh, a more wage per hour so the same thing is there are more expense in uh, I can say Australia because there are some taxes on everything and there are, I can say uh, the accommodation is also which you take on rent is also expensive as compared to Canada so that is uh, overall I can say that is somewhat similar because um, as the Australia gave you more wage but Australia is more expensive than Canada so around I think I can say you give a proper wage because as Canada gave you $15 and Australia gave you $20 and Australia is expensive on the other hand while Canada is not as much expensive as Australia but there's not too much difference it's a bit gap but still Australia is expensive in some matters okay so that is a gonna same thing that if they are paying you more like they are also I can say your expenses are more so that is the same thing I, 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 I can say overall there is no any kind of differences in this thing as well um, to talk about the next thing and important that is 
PR that is permanent residency and the very important topic which everybody is having confusions uh, well in uh, it's a common thing everybody know that PR is very easy to get in Canada and in Australia it's it's not that much difficult the thing is uh, in Australia suppose you're taking a study of one year or two year and then you have this postgraduate work permit so what you have to do is you need your work experience of the same thing what you studied suppose you uh, took a course regarding child care of one year or two year and in your work permit you need to do this child care i can say as as your work you cannot do any other thing however in canada uh, uh, suppose you took this study child care and in your work permit you are doing any other work so still you are eligible for pr but in canada if you will not do the same thing in your uh, i can say if you will not do the same work uh, what you studied in australia so then you are not eligible for work permit सो so, ऐसी एक डिफरेंस है कि अगर आपने कोई जो स्टडी की आपको उसी का ही वर्क एक्सपीरियंस होना चाहिए ऑस्ट्रेलिया में बट कनाडा में ऐसा है कि आज चाहे आपने कोई भी स्टडी की हो उसका ऐसा कोई कंपल्शन नहीं है कि आपको उसी का वर्क एक्सपीरियंस होना चाहिए आप किसी और जॉब का भी एक्सपीरियंस ले सकते हैं तभी भी आपको कैनेडा की है जो पी मिल जाएगी आप उसके लिए एलिजिबल हैं बट ऑस्ट्रेलिया में क्या है कि आपको सेम टू सेम ही वर्क एक्सपीरियंस चाहिए आपने चाइल्ड केयर का कोर्स लिया तो आपको चाइल्ड केयर का ही चाहिए आपने अकाउंटेंसी का कोर्स है आपको वही चाहिए चाहे आपने नर्सिंग का कोर्स है तो आपको नर्सिंग की प्रैक्टिस ही चाहिए आपके वर्क एक्सपीरियंस में आप कोई और काम नहीं कर सकते सो दैट इज़ द वन मोर थिंग एंड द पीयर पॉइंट्स आल्सो वेरी फॉर कैनडा द पीयर पॉइंट्स एंड द फॉर ऑस्ट्रेलिया द पीयर पॉइंट ऑल्सो डिफरेंट शेड आई एम नॉट श्योर अबाउट द कन्फर्म पॉइंट यू कैन विजिट ऑन गूगल ऑन फॉर दैट बट द पॉइंट्स ऑल्सो वेरी एंड द मेन थिंग इज इन कैनडा इट टूक सिक्स टू एट मंथ्स ओनली टू गेट यूर पीयर आफ्टर अपलाइंग इट विद इन सिक्स टू एट एट मंथ्स यू गेट यूर पीयर मैक्सिम वी कैन से वन ईयर एट As it is less than four months in one year as well, but in Australia it took around twelve to sixteen months. That is one to one and a half year. So that is also difference. That the Canada ki pair is about six to eight months. Me, ah, jati hai after apply karne ke baad. But the Australia ki pair hai, wo around twelve to sixteen months. Jan, matlab ki ek se date saal tak wo time lag jata hai usko. So that is also different. So the last thing which I can share is the weather because that is also the question of so many candidates. Uh, just few days ago, I got a question regarding that I have a weather issue. Where I'm not able to suit a weather of this country. So which is better for me, Australia or Canada? So the weather in Australia is uh, not like Canada. That is totally different. Uh, weather of Australia is somewhat like India, but that is also opposite. Because as in Canada, it's too cold. It's not too that much cold, but it's cold, and there is snowfall in mid. Majority parts of Canada, and but in Australia, it it is like that. There is no any kind of snowfall. It is in rare cities like in Melbourne and other side. But in some parts, in majority parts, there is less snowfall and less winter. I can say, uh, as in India, in the month of June or July, that is summer. But in Australia, in the month of June or July, that is winter. And in the month of November, December, January, we have winter in India. And but in Australia, there is summer in November, December, January. So that is totally opposite. But the weather is same like India. That there is a uh, winter. Winter and summers, but the snowfall and these uh, the I can say cold I can say the uh, cool winters like Canada that is not in Australia. In Canada that is snowfall and the like, weather is also very cold I can say. And in some parts of Canada the uh, I can say the snowfall is too high that the people who are working at some places are not able to work because of snowfall and all the work stop. And but in Australia it's like uh, the work is continually uh, in a uh, 24 by 7 I can say whole that whole 12 months I mean work in Australia is continuous uh, only. In some part there is snowfall, but that is not as much as Canada. So the weather differs. That in Australia, that is not as much cold as Canada. But Canada is also it is not like that. Canada is too cold. In Canada also there is summers, but in Canada majority parts there is snowfall, and the uh, the winters are more than summers overall. I can say simply. So I hope you got this. Uh, I can say the, your doubts are now clear regarding the best in Canada and Australia. So we have classified all the factors regarding education that they are best and the similar thing. and the next is uh, um, they have the same course available in canada and australia uh, however there is only difference in the fee for australia and canada that the fee in australia is a bit more rather canada and to talk about salary expenses it's like uh, the per hour wage is more in australia that is around 20 hour 20 dollar per hour but canada gives you around 15 dollar per hour that is maximum approximately only so uh, on the same hand side i can say on the same side the expenses are more in australia as compared to canada so i can say there is no any difference in uh, per hour wage as well because if you get more wage then your expenses are more so the same thing and the other point which we discussed the main is P- P- pr in canada it is easy to get pr 
it is easy in both the countries actually the thing is uh, in canada you, you uh, it is not any requirement that you need the same work experience what you studied either one year or two year or four year study but in australia either your studies of one year two year or you have a bachelor's you need the work experience in the same field what you study you what you studied if you have any work experience of any other field you are not eligible for pr so that is the main thing points are also differ for canada and australia and it took six to eight months for canada to get your pr after applying apply, i can say after applying but in australia it takes around 12 to 16 months to get pr after applying and the last thing is about weather that in canada it's mostly snowfall and winters are there but uh, summers are less and winters are more but in australia the weather is like india it's just opposite that uh, when we have winters they have summers and when they have summers we have winters but there is not as much snowfall as in canada so that is a complete over the thing so overall and we have all i can say cleared all the doubts and still if you need any kind of assistance then you just comment on we will try our best to help you guys out till then take care stay safe we'll meet you soon in our next videos so don't forget to like share and subscribe and hit the bell icon as well to get notifications for our latest updates take care bye bye